About eight months ago, we did a video on a form of Sri Devi called uh, Trashi Lamo. And this is a, a form that is relatively new. I don't actually have the dates for, for when it became uh, something of importance. Um, Trashi Lamo used to be, if we go back about 70 years, uh, according to my informants in Lhasa, if we go back about 70 years, then, then the Trashi Lamo was just a, a tiny little, almost a vestibule uh, type, uh, maybe, maybe 12 inches deep on the side of a building next to the Chinese consulate in Lhasa. So it, it was a very minor uh, practice. It may have come about during the time of Polony, Sunom Topke. So that's uh, up, up to the early part of the 18th century. It, it may have. Um, uh, the story we've talked about, it's uh, four monks uh, who supposedly saw a Sri Devi flying in the sky and using their some kind of meditative power. They, they called this figure down and sort of almost imprisoned it in Lhasa. So, so we, we talked about this a little bit, and, and um, since the demise of uh, the popularity of Dorje Shugden with the banning uh, by the, um, the uh, current uh, powers that be, so we, we, we see the emergence of Trashi Lamo is taking the place in Lhasa of Dorje Shugden, especially for taxi drivers, uh, truck drivers, long-haul truck drivers, um, so they, they're not using the, the uh, Dorje Shugden as their main uh, deity of protection and of uh, wealth uh, bestowal. They're now using this uh, Trashi Lamo. So, so it's really a, um, it's about social change, really, this uh, popularity of this. Now, the reason I'm doing this second video and probably boring some of you with it is because of this name that I only heard... Uh, uh, maybe two, three weeks ago, called Zaki Ram, Z A K I R A M. Zaki Ram is apparently being used as the name for this uh, figure of uh, Sri Devi in Tibetan, known as Trashilamo, the, the goddess of the four monks, because it was four monks who brought her down from from flying in the sky from India to China. Why she was going to China is her business, not ours not really explained very well. Um, I don't know the full story. I've not read a Tibetan um, a full story from from a hundred years ago or, or, or 200 if that if it in fact goes back that early. So I really don't know. but I'm, I, I just want to talk about this word Zakiram. I've never heard this before. So but I have checked on the internet, which is where I was told to look for it and where I could find it. And yes, it's all over the internet and it appears to be associated with um, um, curio and gift shops, Tibetan or Nepalese gift shops. So it could be that um, it's just a, a possibly a Chinese or a Nepalese corruption of, of the Trashilamo somehow to Zakiram. And, uh, but this Zakiram I've never heard before. Um, it, it has, to me, it has no Sanskrit meaning. And it, to me, my knowledge, it has no Tibetan meaning. It is some sort of a, appears to be some sort of a corruption. Um, and it is uh, primarily uh, used for commerce. So it's for selling small amulets and earrings and bracelets and pendants of the deity uh, Trashi Lamo, who is um, a local uh, popular deity. I think it's like halfway between Lhasa and Sera Monastery. It's, it's down, you know, towards the old Chinese um, uh, consulate embassy. Uh, and that's where we find this modern, big, huge uh, temple uh, to uh, Trashi Lamo. What is interesting in some of these images, though, is they depict the feet of Trashi Lamo uh, with uh, the feet of a bird, a chicken. Um, whereas um, some scholars believe that that her feet should be bound, and the Chinese word, uh, some Chinese words for that are are like chicken's feet. So uh, there is some discrepancy in how we understand the feet, and there's definitely. Um, 
It is unclear as to the origins of this new word, Zakiram. So I'll leave you with that. So press the like button. You can subscribe. You can join Har on Patreon. And you can also make a very, very generous offering um, on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources. Uh, we survive on your donations. All the work we do, all of the expenses for keeping the over 100,000 images on the Himalayan Art Resources website, for all, all the expenses are from you. You keep this site alive. You keep this site growing. So thank you for your generous donation.